Hello and welcome to today's February 4th Daily News Report. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. On this channel, I keep you in the loop on what's really going on in Washington, D.C. with President Biden, with the Build Back Better bill, the U.S. economy, money, investing, and much, much more. All right, don't forget to enter your name in the giveaway that Casey and I are doing for the month of February, thanks to amazing video sponsors, and I'll make sure to leave a link below. Also, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for giving these videos a like. I really, really appreciate when you tap that like button, and I just love bringing you guys the news. Okay, uh, some good news uh, that I want to go over with you today uh, and just keep you in the loop on what's going on uh, with the IRS, the government, the Build Back Better bill. But first, I want to thank today's video sponsor, Mr. 1920 Soap. They're my favorite soap in the entire universe, and I'll tell you more about them later in today's video. Okay, some good news uh, that still has to be finalized and voted on in the coming days. But as of right now, Republican leaders and Democrat leaders are saying they will come together to work on a uh, continuing resolution bill to avoid another government shutdown in the next 14 days. Now, again, that has to be finalized and voted on, but both parties this morning said, let's not put fear into the American economy or into the American people. Let's just work together to get that bill done. Speaker Pelosi said, it's a patch job but it's better than fighting and dragging this out. So it's not done yet. Uh, and I'm sure between now and then there'll be some scary news, uh, maybe some fighting, but in the end, I believe the bill will get done and we will avoid a government shutdown. Uh, in other good news, earlier this week, I told you how the U.S. missed new hirings by close to 500,000 people, right? We thought we'd be up 200, we were down 300 for a spread of 500,000 people not working. Uh, this was not good. However, today, the US Labor Department showed that 467,000 new jobs have been created, bringing the total number of open jobs closer to a mil 11 million job openings. So there's a lot more jobs out there for those that are looking for a job or looking to jump to a better paying job. This morning, the House of Representatives voted on a new bill called the America Competes Act. It passed with 222 yeses and 210 noes. One Republican voted for the bill and one Democrat voted against the bill. The bill will now head to the Senate where it needs 60 votes in order to pass. The bill will invest $52 billion in creating more semiconductor chips here in the United States. Uh, this has been a huge problem with uh, anything needing a chip, such as cars, washers, dryers, cell phones. Uh, the chip manufacturer, uh, manufacturers were shut down over in Taiwan due to COVID-19. And now the, the United States is realizing, wait a minute, we should not depend on our supply chain being so much overseas. Let's invest in bringing that back home. The bill also seeks to invest $45 billion in new grants and loans from the Department of Commerce. Speaker Pelosi said this new bill will help the United States compete with China and the rest of the world. Republican, uh, Republican leader Kevin McCarthy said Republicans didn't vote for it. Not because we are against investing in our country, but because it was a 3,000 page bill none of us had time to read and was extremely outdated. For example, part of the bill was to move the 2022 Olympics out of China. Well, the Olympics are happening right now, so Pelosi is behind big time on this bill. We don't want to vote for bad bills that none of us had time to read. Okay, now some good and bad news coming out of the IRS. The IRS has announced they are expecting to be behind again on taxes, which means millions will get their tax refund and their child tax credit check later than expected. Uh, now, this is not great news, but in order for you to make plans for your life, you need to know about the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? Uh, however, in some good news, today the IRS announced that they will shift 1,200 IRS employees 
over to dealing with the backlog of tax returns in order to get Americans uh, their money out faster. So they're gonna move 1,200 people from whatever task they were working on over to uh, helping get those tax refunds and tax, uh, tax returns processed even faster. The IRS also said that they will continue to look for creative ways to get through more tax returns quickly. So hopefully these changes that the IRS announced and are making right now will get you your tax return process faster. And if you get a tax refund, you'll get that money faster as well as your child uh, tax credit check, uh, the, the, the other 50% of the check sent out to you uh, ASAP. Regarding Biden's Build Back Better bill, Senator Joe Manchin said in an interview, he is open to a skinny Build Back Better bill and that he is more and more open to a bill that taxes the wealthy and changes the tax code. He said he uh, is seeing the United States national debt uh, go over $30 trillion scared him and it should scare the bejesus out of everyone especially the next generation. Okay, those are his words. Manchin said he wants to help the people. He wants to use this new bill to reduce the national debt somehow. He wants to use this new bill to reduce Americans' bills somehow. And he wants to use it to reduce inflation. He said it's time for America and the Democrat Party to start being more fiscally responsible. So these are some of the big things that he announced during a radio show that he was on. Um, it's really hard to find this stuff in the news, So, but this was from a radio uh, interview that he gave. Now, Joe Manchin said, higher income earners have to pay their fair share of taxes. We have to live in a country where things are fair for everyone. However, Man uh, Manchin was, uh, has to be careful uh, not to inflict too much tax pain on the wealthy or American businesses because he will lose the support of Senator Kirsten Sinema as well as the support of wealthier voters. So he has to he has to toe the line and, and walk that uh, line very, very carefully. But he said he's very much open to this uh, and the, seeing the national debt go over $30 trillion was the thing that really sparked it for him. Now, Democrat uh, Patrick Gaspard said Democrats need to not get distracted by uh, working on things that won't pass. So basically, go back to the Build Back Better bill. Anything you think won't pass, just pull it out right now. Don't waste time. Don't get distracted. Uh, they need to work on promising pieces of the bill that will get votes. Now, I, I assume he's talking about votes in the Senate and not from the voters, but you and I both know they're going to craft a bill that's going to help get votes going into the midterm election. Manchin said, uh, mentioned he is even open to the child tax credit program uh, continuing for families that make under $75,000 a year. He said, we can't be using the government or taxpayer money to help uh, pay for wealthier families' children. So basically, he said, listen, there's got to be an income cap. Anybody above whatever that is, they can take care of their own kids. Anybody below that uh, would get that help. Now, he did not say anything about removing the child tax credit checks from fixed income uh, families or anybody that are uh, that's on government assistant programs. Uh, that could change down the road. But as of right now, he just wants to take that away from wealthier families. Another Democrat said it is time to cross the aisle and ask Republicans what they want to see in the bill and try to build a bill they would uh, support or to put together a smaller bill that all Democrats can support. Uh, either way, they have to pass something before the midterm elections, according to this Democrat leader. So it looks like a newly named, different focused bill will be emerging very, very soon from the depths of Washington, D.C. And of course, I'll be here to keep you in the loop on all of that. In some Republican news, the Republican National Convention has voted to censure Liz Cheney and Adam Kissing, uh, Kissinger. Kiss, Kissinger. Uh, this means they will get no money or support uh, in their bids for re-election in Wyoming and in Illinois. 
Also, it was announced that former President Donald Trump now has over $122 million in his PAC fund account to push uh, out to helping Republicans uh, win in the upcoming midterm elections. In the last election, it came out this week that Democrats spent almost 60% more money on the election than the Republican Party. Uh, so may maybe that will change in these, this next election cycle. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more with you. Before you go, make sure to get your name entered to be one of the winners. Uh, 10 people are going to win $500 in cash. I'm excited to give that money away and you can spend it however you want. All right, now let me just take uh, a minute to tell you about today's video sponsor, Mr. 1920 Soap. You guys, this is the best soap in the entire solar system. Oh, this is the oat milk honey. It smells so good. It has this really refreshing and clean smell. Uh, this is the black charcoal soap. I love this one. Oh, it smells so good. It just has this like fresh out of the laundry smell that I just absolutely love. This is the, the peach cherry. Look how pretty that is. It's beautiful. Now, even though this one is more geared towards women, I still just absolutely love the, the smell of it. Uh, these soaps are amazing. Now, uh, Mr. 1920 Soap has single-handedly helped me give away thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in cash to people that are struggling here in my YouTube community. So I want to say thank you to them. And also, if you can support them, uh, please go out and buy it. We got Valentine's coming up. You could get something for uh, a family member in your life, the man in your life, the woman in your life. They've got soaps for everybody, and they're very affordably priced. I mean, look at look how big these soaps are. They last forever, and they're just they just smell amazing. So anyway, I'll make sure to leave a link below. Support them if if you can, because they've been very very supportive of the Stephen Gardner YouTube community. Now, before you go, I just want to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.